Man a mere mortal, June 17. Shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Job 4, 17. Man is only mortal, and while he feels himself too wise to accept Jesus, he will remain only mortal. Physical life is not eternal or immortal, for God the life giver takes it again. Man has no more control over his life. The Word of God nowhere teaches that the soul of man is immortal. Immortality is an attribute of God only. Upon the fundamental error of natural immortality rests the doctrine of consciousness in death, a doctrine like eternal torment opposed to the teachings of the scriptures, to the dictates of reason and to our feelings of humanity. What say the scriptures concerning these things? David declares that man is not conscious in his death. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day his thoughts perish. Psalms 146 verse 4. When in answer to his prayer, Hezekiah's life was prolonged 15 years. The grateful king rendered to God a tribute of praise for his great mercy. In this song, he tells the reason why he thus rejoices. The grave cannot praise thee. Death cannot celebrate thee. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. The living, the living, he shall praise thee as I do this day. Isaiah 38, 18 and 19. Popular theology represents the righteous dead as in heaven, entered into bliss and praising God with an immortal tongue. But Hezekiah could see no such glorious prospect in death. Peter, on the day of Pentecost, declared that the patriarch David is both dead and buried, and his sepulchre is with us unto this day. For David is not ascended into the heavens. Acts chapter 2, 29 and 34. The fact that David remains in the grave until the resurrection proves that the righteous do not go to heaven at death. It is only through the resurrection and by the virtue of the fact that Christ has risen that David can at last sit at the right hand of God.